Hi everyone and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this lecture we're going to talk about a new data structure, that is the stack. A stack is just like a queue, but instead of being first in first out, like the queue, where the first person to get to the queue is the first one to leave the queue, a stack is last in first out. So the first person to leave the queue is the one that got into it last. So you add elements at the beginning and remove them from the beginning. And it can also find its size and print itself, like the queue. So it should be fairly simple to implement now that we've done the queue and the list. So it would be something like this. You add a new element at the end. And then you remove them from the end. Or from the beginning, it doesn't really matter. The beginning or the end, as long as you do both in the same place, because we already have the adding, then we will do it like we have already with the lists add to list method. We'll make the new node point to the current head and then make the head of the stack be the new node, like we've seen already. To remove nodes, we would simply make the head of the stack point to the second node in the stack instead of the first one. This way we skip the first node and it get erased from our computer's memory by Java. So the rest are just like the queue class that we've seen. Stacks are really useful in computers, as we'll see later. When you're running a program and you call more than one function, do you remember how when you call a function and the function finishes, you return back to where you were when you left when before calling the function? This is made like a stack. You're running a function and this is the lowest level of the stack. Then when you run another function, this goes on top of the stack, and when that finishes, it leaves the stack, and you keep going where you left it at the bottom. So it's like a stack, the way the program, the programming languages run functions. Anyway, so let's program a stack in the next lecture and see what we can achieve with that.